Alrighty, this is video number 10. So, yeah, here we go. small but extremely powerful this is this is the ram for the um you do computer that i got the uh you do v8 and this is 32 gigabytes of ddr4 for that little computer and um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna have to make a video just on that computer stuff for sure um because there's a lot going on there um but you know these are just unboxing videos just to show the things that i've got for the humvee and then i can go and uh, get into detail with the other stuff on down the road do specific videos for specific things oh wow that's uh that's a lot heavier than i thought it would be huh. no wonder it was like 80 bucks um Or maybe it was like, I think it was like 80, 80 or something with shipping. But yeah, so um, this right here, you can see, like, this is all rubber. This is one giant piece of rubber. And um, this is for the, uh, the air filter box, which is, in another video, I think it's huge. It's like that big around, like that. And then this goes to the that box, and then... Um, and this goes to air horn. There we go. They called it air horn. This last piece that goes to the intake for the engine, that's called the air horn. Um, and this goes in between the two. And so, you know, like that was just, I mean, I got the Humvee for an excellent price, but the reason was, was because it was missing a lot of things and it wasn't, it's not running. Um, sure, I'm taking a chance on getting something that isn't running. Um, but with the most part, it, it, you can tell like by the interior and how much use it has that it wound up most likely just getting relegated to being a parts vehicle. So, you know, if you got 50 Humvees, um, it's so much easier for the military to just relegate two or three Humvees to parts vehicles to keep 47 others running. Um, because it's not like you can just go down to Cragen and get the parts you need. And since they don't care about sacrificing full vehicles because they didn't work for the money, they just used the stuff, like the money on that military side is endless. So, um, yeah, I mean, in their position, it just makes sense to cannibalize other vehicles that are perfectly fine, but for the overall good. Now these here, um, you know, I just got these at Costco. Got them yesterday. Um, they're LED lights, and as you can probably see, I mean, these things are, man, they're maybe a quarter inch thick. They're really thin. And I saw these, and I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to need interior lights. Well, saw something there that I didn't even didn't even realize I was even gonna, or at least not to the, you know, I wasn't to the point yet where I was like, oh, this is something I need to take care of. And so, yeah, um, 
these are 18 inches by like, I think it was uh, two and five eighths. Um, thought about going and um, painting, painting them to kind of, you know, maybe the green or whatever. But the reality is this whole part is white here. Um, so who cares? You know, it's just more white. Um, but anyways, so these are going to be my interior lights. They're a touch. So you, uh, you just got a little sensor here. You just touch it. They dim. I have a, I have that AC adapter, not AC, the inverter or wait, converter. I think when you go from DC to AC, it's converting. You go AC to DC, it's inverting, I believe. Um, or it's the opposite. Anyways, yeah, so these are just really slim, and then I'm going to uh, mount these to um, the cab, the top of the cab. And they're nice and slim up out of the way, and um, and you can dim them, uh, and that'll be perfect for the lighting inside the cab. I Three of them will probably be too much. Um, one of them might even be plenty, uh, like maybe just one in the middle. Um, I won't know until I'm there and actually go to test them out, you know, at nighttime and then see how bright it is. Uh, I might only need one. Uh, this here is something I just kind of got before, like a while back. Um, I don't even know if I'll even wind up using it uh, with the Humvee. Um, but seeing as how I don't have um, anything else, uh, I got a, I got a few more things coming in this week. Um, but as far as making a a video with more stuff in it, um, I figured all right, because I might use this. So it's just it's a proximity sensor, and um, and you can mount this wherever you want, and you can get more than one. Um, like you can buy more of these. Uh, and they're supposed to have a pretty good range and then you got this little receiver inside so I mean you can and you know I have AC power in the vehicle so like I don't know maybe you're out camping and you just want to stick this on the hood or aim it in the direction of the campfire or whatever um, you know and then you can just have this little proximity sensor that you can just stick wherever because it's wireless and um, and then be in the vehicle and then be alerted if because um, you never know I mean there's like bears and wolves and I mean they just passed that law here in Idaho um, about killing the wolves um, and of course you know and I'm a big-time animal lover um, but I get it um, those you get too many of those wolves and it, they are going to screw up the ecosystem. So it's not about being some gung-ho American and I want to kill everything I can, I can find. Um, it's more about um, balancing out an ecosystem. All right. Eight and, all right, so I got a, another minute and a half. So I had this out just in case. So this is like one of those Pelican cases or uh, whatever. They're the uh, watertight deals. Um, they got the latches all the way around. Heavy duty. And these are watertight. So what I did was, or what I Maybe it'll work. I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes things that are in theory don't work out very good in practice. Um, but I'm going to do some little, little quick latches. And this will go in between the seats and sit up against the back wall of the Humvee. And so um, you can put stuff in here and, and use stuff in there. Whatever. But then this is something I did custom. And that's for my vector gun. And um, so that way, I have a nice place for the gun. It's in waterproof container. And you can still use uh, what's down here. Um, 
Uh-oh.